I told you. Don't contact me on this phone. And text only, no calls. Hmm. This sounds interesting. Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Oh gosh, yeah. This isn't what it looks like. I was just waiting to talk to her. Hmm. Well, she didn't seem to notice. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Your true crime show? That's a little bit of a loaded term. I just think people deserve to know the truth. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um... Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. What a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I'm trying to figure out what happened to Safi, and I wanted your help. Oh, <laughs> you're a gumshoe now. Detective Caulfield on the case. Give me a fucking break. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once. <laughs> <laughs> 